In this video, I'll be using PowerShell to configure keyboard layout in Windows 11. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, here you can find links to Microsoft documentation and all the snippets and commands that I will be using in this video. And I will start this video with the command get win user language list, and this will show me what keyboard layouts are currently configured for the user. And now I will go to my VMware workstation where I have this Windows 11 virtual machine and I will be executing all the PowerShell commands and snippets inside of it. And first I need to open a PowerShell window, so for that I will go to my start menu and search for PowerShell, then I will run it as administrator, I will click yes here, and then I will just type get win user language list, press enter. And here we can see that I only have a single keyboard layout for English United States keyboard. I can double check this information by going to the settings in the user interface, then time and language and language and region. And here we can also see that I only have a single keyboard layout for English United States. And that's basically it for getting the information about our current keyboard layout. Now to change the keyboard layout, we can use a command called set win user language list and then provide the language layout that we want for example in this case i will change it to the same one to english united states because i want to show you a few things and if i press enter now then we get this confirmation message and in most cases i don't want it and i want to remove it so i will say no and then i will add up another parameter called force and this will remove this confirmation message as you can see now we only get uh, this warning and now to remove this warning we can use another parameter called warning action and then provide a parameter value silently continue press enter and as you can see this time we don't get the confirmation message or the warning anyways now after running this command nothing changed because i changed the keyboard layout to the same one i had before if we want to change it to a different one, we just need to provide a different layout ID right here. For example, in this case, I will provide ID for French keyboard, so FR, FR, press enter. And if I enter the command get win user language list, now we can see that I have the French keyboard. And if I go to the user interface, we can still see English here. I think if I go back and back again, we can see the user interface updated and now we have the fringe keyboard in here and as you can see basically this command didn't add another keyboard but it replaced my current one let me replace it back to the english united states and for example let's say that i want to add french layout as my secondary keyboard layout so in that case we need to provide all the layouts that we want so first i want to provide english united states that will be my primary and then let's add a secondary, so French keyboard. Once again, press enter. The command was executed successfully. And now if I refresh the language list in here, we can see that I have my English United States layout and also French layout in here. Also, we get this toolbar setting in here where we can change the layouts. Also, if I type get win user language list now we can see that i have two keyboard layouts in the powershell window so all the commands i used now was to replace my current language list and in some cases you just want to keep your current language list and add another language and for that i have a snippet in my github page right here and here first we get our current language list then we add another keyboard to it in this case i'm adding a hungarian keyboard and only then we're using the set win user language list command to replace the list. So basically we get the list, we add entries that we want inside of it, and only then we are replacing the keyboard layouts. So I will click on the button right here to copy the snippet, then I will insert it here, press enter. And if I use the command get language list, here now we can see that we have three layouts, English, United States, French, and also Hungarian. Same goes for the interface settings right here. As you can see, now I have three keyboard layouts. And that's basically it for setting the keyboard layouts for the current user. And that this is important because the current user is the user that is executing the commands. And changing the language list for other user accounts that are already existing on the computer is a bit difficult, but it's possible to change the layout 
for the users that you will be creating in the future. And for that, I have this command right here that allows us to copy our regional settings and keyboard settings to welcome screen and also new user accounts. So all the users that will be created after executing this command will have the same regional settings and the same keyboard layouts as my current user that is executing this command. And before I can execute this command, I want to show you how it looks before execution. And then I will execute it and I will show you after. So first let's go back to the virtual machine and let's create another user account. I will use net user commands to create a bill account. And then let's add add parameter. Then I press enter. The user was successfully created. Then I will sign into the bills account. Let's wait a bit. And bills account was successfully created. If I go to the settings. And then if I go to time and language, language and region, you can see that this account only has a single layout. And that's because, like I said, all the commands that I was executing uh, till now what didn't affect other users on the computer. It only ex uh, affected the admin user which was executing the commands. So as you can see, nothing changed here. So let's go back to the admins user. And now I'm back in my admin user. And now let's execute this command and then create another user account. So I'll click on the button right here to copy this command. Then I will insert it into my PowerShell window, press enter. And now let's create another user, net user John. And then let's add add. The user was successfully created. So in this example, you will see that the, this user account, John, will be affected with the new keyboard layouts. But this command right here didn't affect the already existing users, like the user that I created before named Bill. So let's go now to the John's account and wait a bit once more. And John's account was successfully created. If I go to my settings and then time and language and language in the region, here we can see that now we have the three keyboard layouts that we added with the PowerShell commands. And this will happen for all the new users on this computer. Anyways, that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.